Once we get inside the ankle joint, <clears throat> we first uh, confirm that we have uh, correct passage into the joint. This gentleman purely has uh, synovitis, which has been occurring at the anterior aspect of the joint. We can look through this joint quite easily, as you'll see. I'll just point out some of the relevant structures there for you. Uh, the anterior inferior tibia fibula ligament, looking down to the anterior aspect of the joint. You see you get a quite a nice view with the 1.9 millimeter telescope throughout the joint. Because we've got a good amount of distraction, we can then look inside the joint and easily inspect the surface. Looking at the back there, you can see the posterior transverse tibia fibula ligament and you can see some fraying with that, which is often a, a finding with uh, chronic sprain syndrome of the ankle. Um, at the back there, you can see some synovitis and some further fraying of the ligament. And look immediately, and in this zone is where flexor house as long as pass, passes. And I can move the toe up and down and you can see it moving behind the synovium in this zone of the ankle. You might have noticed as we pass across the ankle that there is some fraying of the cartilage, some pitting, which on an outer bridge classification of the knee, um, you can grade. And you can see that there is some irregularity of the ankle articular cartilage there, which we picked up earlier on bone scan um, uh, as uh, arthritis. In order to inspect the medial side of the joint, uh, you can see there's some synovitis getting in the way of the scope. We pass the scope down the medial gutter, and once again, because we're using this 1.9 millimeter scope, you can actually get into the corners quite well. And once we get down into this zone of the ankle, you can see once again a little bit of synovitis you quite easily see synovial folds which are over the deep layer of the medial collateral ligament. The next important thing to do is to place your portals. I try to get the portal as lateral as I can. And first of all, I just press on the outside of the ankle in order to identify where a good position uh, would be and then pass a 22 gauge needle from the lateral aspect into the joint. Once the needle is in, I then you identify whether I can do pretty well everything that I want to. Um, you can place accessory portals as per Ferkel at uh, what are called accessory portals, which are down lower. But here, all I need to do is remove some of this synovial material uh, here, and particularly where he's getting most of his pain on the medial aspect of the tabular tibial joint. And then they make an incision, just going through the skin only, If you come far lateral, I believe you've got less chance of getting the superficial perineal nerve as it's passed near this portal. And once again, just with the medial portal, push away. Once you get down to the joint line, to the joint capsule. Okay. I then complete a small capsulotomy using the blade through the area that I've blunt dissected through. Then get the chondroton and pass into the joint. It's often de deceptive how much synovitis there is within the joint uh, when it's dilated up with fluid. But you can see here, once the chondrotome goes in, that the synovitis pretty well declares itself. Synovitis is then removed using the 2.2 uh, millimeter chondrotome. And I found that it's best to have the chondrotome on three and a half thousand uh, RPM. It allows uh, greater uh, removal of this material as 
much more convenient and quicker to uh, perform the uh, procedure. So the synovitis is uh, quite easily removed using this instrument at the front of the joint there. This is in particular important when you have bony ankle impingement that you need to perform this removal of this synovitic material very thoroughly. I'm going to show you what uh, this, the spur looks like in these uh, chronic ankle sprain type syndromes. This gentleman doesn't have particularly uh, pronounced uh, spur development at the front of his ankle joint, but this region here you need to address by performing a rigorous capsulotomy so you can see all of this area at the anterior aspect of the ankle before you can start to remove the spur when it is present. If look down on the uh, tibial surface, you can see that the uh, talus surface does pit there to a minor degree. Some areas more than others, as you'd expect with arthritic, early arthritic development on the ankle. What I'm going to do now is uh, change the portals over. And look at the medial side. When you look at the medial side, you can see that he has his uh, minor degree of synovitis, which is associated with his arthritis. And once again, we pass in the chondrotome and simply remove this material. So at the end of the procedure, what we like to see is that the ankle looks nice and clear and free of debris. It's very important, particularly if you're doing removing anterior bony ankle impingement material, that you uh, thoroughly clear out the ankle uh, afterwards. <laughs>